Well, in between a couple of uh, 1380s, let's sneak in our small bore. Long overdue for an update. And really, finally, a lot of uh, math and measuring and machine work. And here's how it looks. We ended up having to put very small notches. They went about a tenth of an inch deep. Uh, our top ring is about a quarter of an inch deep, and we're about 15 or 20 thousandths below deck. So, very small notches. Here's number two and three. You can see that uh, pistons aren't in yet. And with our fairly radical movement of the bores, uh, quite a bit this way on numbers two and three, and outward a bit on one and four. We'll see how this turns out. Uh, assembly going pretty nicely. We've got full floating uh, flat top pistons. I've talked about this before. Here, let's take a quick look. These are the Australian Russell 68 millimeters, about 135 thousandths overbore on our little 998. Um, otherwise, we're trying to use mostly stock components. We've got a standard crank, uh, the standard rods, as I mentioned, floating. I don't have the slick piston installation. Uh, where is the one for our 1380? It's up here somewhere. Um, the tapered sleeve, and this is a, admittedly an odd bore. What do we have? 135 over, that's 2.675 from our 2.540 starting bore. So we'll show bits and pieces here uh, as we go along. Some interesting, uh, interesting things to consider. You can see I put the water pump on here, so I started thinking, well, we had to chop quite a bit off the block to bring these flat top pistons that were intended for the longer stroke 1098s, and you can see how much our water pump is above deck, but luckily our gasket area is pretty well covered. So we'll see what geometry we run into uh, as we make this one uh, hopefully a water life soon.